right off the bat there is no mistaking that classic 70s look. Until I saw my first plastic clad crotch rocket, this typified the Japanese motorcycle offerings, and in my very young mind was what everything that wasn't a Harley or Triumph looked like. It's through this lens that I observe the CB1100X, and I gotta say, I'm loving what I see. Laced wheels are always a good place to start with a ride such as this, and the front fender comes sand paint for a bit of extra bling. In classic UJM fashion, the front end is very clean with a single headlight cam bracketed by chrome front turn signal housings, and a pair of clocks to cover the instrumentation. A tapered fuel tank has an almost triumph-like look about it, just without the knee pads, and from there the fly lines gentle down to the tuck and roll, to a bench seat. Thankfully Honda didn't go too far with the retro styling, and left the flange fuel tank in the history books where they belong. A polished fender covers the rear wheel, with a chrome tail light housing and bullet turn signals that isn't necessarily squeaky clean, but still manages to fit the classic look quite nicely. Polished aluminum case closures and chrome side covers complete the bling with good, old-fashioned, subframe to swing arm shocks that are exactly what you'd expect to see on such a classic ride, 